Hey everyone, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Planting with Julian. I wanted to be super casual today because I am finally back with the collection. And in today's Planting with Julian, I wanted to just sit down. Here I am on my patio floor with my potting tray and I want to restake a bunch of my house plants that are in need of either being moved up to a larger, longer coco coir or moss pole or I want to transfer it into a larger planter. I feel like my restaking videos, I like doing it on the ground and just being right next to them. So here we are on the patio floor. Give this video a big thumbs up. It is a work from home day. I am prepping for another weekend of vending starting tomorrow at the farmer's market. So I wanted to hop onto the main channel before I teach my two clients of the day and gear up for vending week and spend some time with the collection because I am gearing up to going back to Las Vegas and traveling again next month. So I wanted to take care of the plant babies before I'm gone for another month. This is my red emerald philodendron. This is one of them. My original hybrid red emerald philodendron is behind me. It is way past its coco coir pole. I may have to just take it off of the pole and just have it kind of trail and go crazy everywhere. I just don't know where I should do it. I might put it up against my patio wall and fence and then maybe velcro it to the wall. I think is my, what I might do because it's like, I don't know, probably this much more times two past the pole and it's like leaning against, against the wall of my patio behind me. So I have yet to do anything with it. This is grown into the pole. It worked really hard. So as you can see, I'm gonna try my best to, wow, it really sunk its aerial roots into the coco coir pole. That's a good sign. But I'm gonna have to have it work hard to do it all over again and it'll climb up a larger pole. Wow, this thing wrapped itself around. Okay. Trying to work efficient here and not ruin its hard work. I don't want to damage any of the aerial roots. Wow, you really love this pole a lot. This plant is growing in my bathroom, but I think once I put it with a bigger coco coir pole, I don't know, I might have to bring it out. <sighs> yeah, out here, I'm thinking. Okay, so what I wanna do is transfer it to another planter. Let's do this. Have regular house plant soil. I want to make sure that I have enough soil on the bottom. This is definitely a good day for the house plants. With me traveling, it's just I feel sorry for them, but they're doing really good, obviously, if I have to restake them. So add more soil. It's a perfect day to be out here with the collection, and I will make time for things like this. It's a perfect time for me to go around the collection. I mean, yeah, mine is my big hybrid. I don't know what to do with him because I think it loves living by the fountain. Look at that. You know you're gonna be happy. So let's get a 
think you're good. Let's bring you out. Wow, take a look at this. I use Velcro tape as well. to be able to climb up on the pole again. Let's see what the plant looks like if by the end of the year, if it'll pass the length of this pole. Then I always have to think, what next? How am I gonna style you? Or do I propagate you? Which I hate to do after it works so hard. So that is it. Whoa, you just had a glow up. What do you guys think? Have you just sit back here and hang out? Wow. Wow. And. Oh, you're definitely going to outgrow this pole quite quick. then they're probably gonna have to move where they've been currently living because they had a glow up all right let's this velcro tape because you can reuse it and have it to the exact size you like or you can add on to it and I think that's it I'll leave you here so cute you've grown up I'm so proud of you for a tetrasperma I want to give it a taller pole just because I'm dedicating this video to restaking my plants and I know I just staked this up but as you can see this whole section has some new growth after it being burnt in the sun so why not just replace it oh it's already growing onto this pole working hard Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna give you a taller pole to hug on to. Wow. It's whoa. You are Whoa. 
This thing really latched on. I'm sorry, you worked so hard. But I'm gonna give you something else. It'll be a while till you grow to the top, but I believe in you. And I'm doing it now only because I'm doing a restaking video and I don't want to have to restake this plant like until another two years or something. So as you can see, it latched on quite quick to the pole that I just had it staked up on. So let's make sure that the aerial nodes are hugging in on touching the pole. Let's do that. Okay. Let's see how long it takes. One here. We'll do this one up here. So proud. Here on the bottom, I want to make sure we have contact here. Because once I stake this up, I won't touch this plant for another year or two when it's past this coco coir pole, and then I have to figure out what I want to do with it. To grow, I believe in you. Yep, I'm happy I did it now. Then I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so leaves me to my monstera. This is my gorgeous. Monstera Albo. It has grown several new leaves, but as you can see, look at this huge aerial root. So I want to give it. Ooh, you're hugging also onto this. I wanted to give it a. Hmm, hmm, hmm questionable. Thicker hold of uh, hug too. I think I'm gonna do this for now, and then give it more soil. I know my grandma wanted me to make sure it got more soil. So let's make sure this aerial node. See this aerial root touching. Let's do that. And let's do up here. Better. Looks good. 
Just wanted to put more soil and then give it a wider pole. That looks good. want to take care of is my pink princess as you see it has a beautiful pink unfurled leaf goals and then it has another leaf that's about to unfurl I technically don't want to touch it while it's unfurling a leaf but I want to see what's going on in here and then put it into soil because I just yeah I, I want it out of this current situation and I want to stake it up on a coquitoria pole. So, I don't know what this is. But, it's time to convert it into soil. And I hope it won't be mad about me converting it into soil. This will still continue to live in my bathroom. Because obviously it's happy there. Showing me unfurled leaves the second leaf it's unfurled for me since I brought it into the collection. I've had it now for almost two months in the collection. So I'm just working quickly because this is a rare expensive plant and I don't want to stress it out and I'm already stressed out. So I'm going to work really quickly, stake it up and put it in soil and see how it does and I'll keep an eye on it and if it's not happy then I guess I can put it back in this setup but I want it to climb on a pole so that's the reason why I decided to do this in today's video as well. this is if any of you guys know the sun shifts through the patio okay I think this is the best I can get it because I don't want to stress out the root system or myself anymore. So we trimmed off the leaves that were non-existent. And that's the way how the plant came. And this is what it looks like bare root. person okay so now that I'm done stressing myself out I'm not gonna look good in here I think this one because it's bigger I'm my breath as I work with this rare expensive plant Says good luck. Oh, 
definitely like living in soil and growing on a coco coir pole. Trying to work as efficient as possible while being very light handed here. Please don't be mad at me, Pink Princess, for transferring you to a soil, but I wanted to stick you up on a pole to grow taller. All right, so let's help you out here. That was stressful. What do you guys think about my decision? You think I made the right choice? not happy I'll send it back to its original setup Okay, all right, enough messing with it because I'm already stressed out. So here it is. She's grown up, she's advanced. Oh, stressful. So before we wrap up today's video, I wanted to show you my hybrid red emerald philodendron. As you can see, it has outgrown the pole tremendously. And it's now just kind of hanging out here. Don't know what to do with it. If I should take it off the coco coir pole and let it trail and hang down somewhere. So sound off in the comments down below. What do you think I should do with it? And by the time this video goes live, maybe I might have made my decision to move it somewhere and have it just trail instead of climb up a pole that is way past now. Quick little overview of all the plants that I either replanted, restaked, did a little maintenance. I'm really happy that I was able to dedicate some time today for the collection to do this. And I'm looking forward to see how well they do, especially my pink princess. So happy. They look great. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up today's planting with Julian, restaking the house plants. I'm happy I dedicated time today for the collection before I am off again for work and for traveling for the vlog channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me restake some of my rare plants like my Monstera elbow, and then also seeing me have the Pink Princess graduate into a different medium and a different setup. And I'm looking forward to see how well it does. Hopefully it is not mad with me, hopefully. But I felt like I wanted to do it today because I am dedicating this video to restaking my plants. Happy that my red emerald philodendron is now in like a bigger planter, taller coco coir pole. I have to figure out where to have it now in the collection. Can't go back in the bathroom anymore. Look at these plants here, my Raphidophora tetrasperma and my red emerald philodendron, both of them were living in my bathroom. Even this philodendron as well. So I have to figure out where they're gonna live now because this is just too much for the bathroom. Pink Princess will go back in the bathroom and then my elbow, it kind of goes in and out. Sometimes it's in my studio and when I'm traveling and out of town, it is in my shower. So this is still manageable with this length of pole here, but these big ones, I have to figure out where to put them. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Super casual as I hang out here on my patio floor. It's beautiful weather. I want to do a plant friend shout out and this one is going to Anna posted up a couple weeks ago and she says here what an exciting time for you and your channel thanks for sharing I try as much as possible to share everything what's going on on the main channel and the vlog channel with plant life 
and my small business and traveling and my everyday life between both of the channels so thank you guys so much for supporting me and I'm gonna sign off here I'm looking forward to see how the plants do and by the time this video goes live I imagine that I will be back from my next international trip which is Spain and Greece and I want to see how the plants are doing by the time this video goes live and if they're not happy I will switch it up and I will put them into a different setup but for now this is the current look and upgrade of their new living conditions here so they have upgraded today give them a thumbs up if anything and thank you guys so much for hanging out with me if you're new welcome to the channel subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel and the vlog channel you get a video each and every day aloha from santa monica california bye